I would really like to see uh, enabling XRP Ledger with zero knowledge proof technology. There are so many use cases, there are so many inno innovative applications that we can build using this technology. So my number one uh, priority right now is to work on enabling zero knowledge proofs on XRP Ledger. Hi, I'm Anchal Malhotra and I lead the research and development team uh, at Triplex. And my role is to ensure that we are leveraging emerging technologies to address the fundamental challenges uh, to position XRP Ledger for the longer term success. We are getting past the exploration phase of zero knowledge technologies. When the XRP Ledger was built, these technologies were not even around. So it takes a while. We cannot just use any off the shelf solution. It takes a while for us to figure out uh, the specifics of uh, ZK technology to integrate with XRP XRP Ledger. Uh, where we are now at this in this journey is we are at the stage of prototyping uh, zero knowledge proof. What we are doing is we are taking a hybrid approach where certain parts of the zero knowledge proofs will be implemented natively for better performance and others give flexibility to the developers that they can build uh, different applications, different proving systems uh, based on their need, based on their requirements within this programmability layer. We are way farther in this journey uh, and soon we'll see some you know, real world applications being built on XRP Ledger. In my opinion, zero knowledge proofs is a very, very powerful tool. When we talk about private people think about 100% privacy where everything is hidden nobody can ever see that and that those, those things could be used uh, in nefarious ways however what blockchains uh, enable is something called programmable privacy what does that mean that means that you can get the best of both worlds while you can hide information but at the same time you can do selective disclosure meaning disclose the relevant information to third parties for example auditors for compliance purposes the concept of selective disclosure is simple that you don't you do not have to um, open the entire data entire information but just expose the necessary parts required for different applications for example if you want to enter a club you do not necessarily need to tell your age all that you need to prove is that you are 18 years above right and that's something that programmable privacy provides you selectively disclose that you are 18 years above without necessarily telling that you are 22 years old, for example. Interoperability is a really hard problem. We haven't been able to solve it. It's fraught with technical challenges. And the biggest one being the challenge of trust. Like bridges require trust in third parties, in entities, in federators, in centralized entities. What zero knowledge proofs provide is trustlessness. It provides verifiability. So you do not have to trust a third party. Instead, what you trust in is cryptography. Scalability is tricky, it's multidimensional. When we cannot do everything on the native layer, uh, how zero knowledge proofs uh, help us scale is by offloading computations. So you can offload computations to layer twos and just use the layer one as the settlement layer and the layer twos can provide the proof of the correct execution of a computation, for example. So that way, the layer one doesn't have to do all the work of the computation. The work is done at layer two. All that layer one has to do is to verify the proof that the computation was correctly done on layer two. And that's something that zero knowledge proofs can provide. In a succinct way, they provide a proof of the correct execution of a certain computation on layer two that can be easily verified on the main chain or on the L1. That brings scale because now you can do all that. Now layer twos can do all the hard work, all the complicated work, and all that layer one has to do is verify the work that layer twos have done.